Hey everybody, it's Ryan. And Samara. And welcome to the Jacob Javits Convention Center here in New York City. We're here for the New York Times Travel Show. Now, Samara, this is your first time at the Travel Show. Great to see you here. But I've got to ask, what are you expecting to see? Oh, thank you so much for having me and inviting me. Uh, I don't know, I'm just curious to see, you know, what destinations I want to be taking this year or the years to come. So I'm interested in finding out. Well, the whole world is behind those doors. The Dominican Republic is here, Japan is here, Mexico is here. Are you excited to see Mexico? Mexico, of course. I want to go to the beaches. But there's one thing that's true to our heart, and Samara, I think you want to be the one to tell us this one. New York City. I love New York. We want to talk about New York. There's a whole pavilion dedicated to I love New York, so we're going to bring you all of the great things that you can do from New York while staying in New York. There's things that bring you up to central New York? Yes, there's some food, there's some, I don't know, I want to go try food. Well, the key New is York. you don't have to leave New York to explore New York. So we're going to celebrate everything at the New York Times Travel Show that's all about New York. Enjoy. Greetings from the New York Times Travel Expo. Let's check in with Lorraine Cregan, director from the Montauk Chamber of Commerce. That's correct. How Thanks are things coming? Oh, we're so glad to see you in town. How is it, uh, the New York Times Travel Expo, going for it's Montauk? Going great. I mean, everyone is. I hear them walking by. Oh, Montauk! Let's go back. Let's see what they're offering this time. <laughs> now, one of the things that I know about Montauk, and I love, and I filmed a music video from someone from Mexico there, is the beautiful lighthouse. Is it open all year, like during a nor'easter? Those are those snowstorms that cover all of Long Island. Can you still come and visit the lighthouse? You can come and visit from a distance. Uh, there are some concerns about the, the lighthouse itself, especially in a nor'easter. But you can see it, you can drive by, you can stop. It won't necessarily be open. They, they do have specific hours, and um, they operate certainly in season, uh, generally from April, to October, November, weekends in particular um, in the off season, but um, you'll get a good, good tour once you go there. It's really, really beautiful. And it is, I shouldn't say this because I think there's a question on one of the uh, um, things that we're giving out. It is the oldest lighthouse in uh, New York State. Oh, that is good to know. Now, being involved with the Chamber of Commerce, what is something that's asked most frequently of Montauk? What are people calling in and writing about? Oh, they're calling in and writing about how are the beaches, um, the surfing, is there still surfing there? Uh, is there, do you charge for parking? <laughs> now, it's like very that. rocky in Montauk. Do we have swimming beaches? Oh my goodness, yes. All of downtown Montauk is beautiful beaches. And also um, on the bay side, which is not as uh, rough as the Atlantic Ocean. So you have a variety of places to go to be in the water and different activities, paddle boarding, uh, there's uh, all kinds of activities, parasailing, uh, surfing. That's uh, my question. With the rocks, is it safe to surf in Montauk? Because you can get tossed off a board and it's pretty rocky there. Well, in Ditch Plains, which is a famous be beach that people go to, uh, there are rocks to the right, but they know uh, when to go, when it's high tide, when it's low tide, and the rocks are really for those experienced people that know how to surf. They do have surfing lessons and they take them out into different areas. So uh, surfing can be very, very safe. So. Now let's talk about the New York Times Travel Expo. We've got folks here from India, Mexico. We're in New York, you're in New York. What is the need for Montauk to advertise in New York? Well, we are 110 miles from New York City, so it's having a vacation almost like in your back, door, back outside backyard. Um, in addition to the fact that uh, we, are, we cater to a lot of families. It's a fishing capital of the world. Um, you can go deep sea fishing, you can go offshore fishing, and you can have a blast, whatever you'd like to do, especially uh, when you want to just relax and just be nice and calm in, uh, at the beach. Speaking of relax, I heard something about an indoor, all year round saltwater pool. Where is that? What location is it for the community? Is it for the visitors? Oh yes, it's for everyone. In fact, you can even have a membership to Gurney's Montauk. And Gurney's has the one and only saltwater pool in addition to the only thalasso uh, therapy in the continental U.S. of A. Now, some people get therapy just from seeing nature, and I heard that there are some seals 
not in cages, that hang out in Montauk. How do you see the seals? Oh, you would walk along the cliffs near the lighthouse, and there are actually guided tours that will take you for a minimum of maybe a few dollars, and you get to see the seals baking in the sun. And generally, it's between February and April. That's when they love to come to Montauk. And they come and they wave to you, and then you wave back, and then you walk along to see all the seals. Lorraine, have you waved to oh, the many, seals? Of course, many <laughs> times, haven't you? <laughs> I am on my way to Montauk to see the seals. I've seen the lighthouse, but I haven't seen the seals yet. But before we go, the slogan as you walk through the New York Times Travel Expo in this section is, I love New York. Now, what do you love in New York, Lorraine? I love Montauk, I love Long Island, and I love all of New York. New York State has so much to offer anybody that would like a vacation. You can go upstate, you can go down river, you can go to beaches, you can go explore uh, different kinds of caves and caverns. So New York has so much to offer, you don't need to leave the state, actually. From the New York Times Travel Expo, till next time. Hello, everybody. Samara Riviera here. We're at the New York Times Travel Expo, and I'm here with Malaine yes. from Dutchess County. How are you tonight? I'm great. I'm so glad to have you here and talk about all the wonderful things there are to see and do in Dutchess County. So I'm the, I don't think I've ever been to Dutchess County. Can you tell us a little bit about you know what what uh, makes Dutchess County so fabulous or special? Oh sure, there are, we say that we are distinctly Dutchess. There are a number of things in Dutchess County that you can only do in Dutchess County. So for instance, one of those things is the walkway over the Hudson State Park. It is the longest elevated pedestrian walkway in the world. It's a converted railroad bridge, and it's easy to get to for New Yorkers who come on the train. You can take Metro North from. Grand Central, it's a 90 minute trip, or you can take Amtrak from Penn Station, and the walkway is right there. There's a beautiful glass elevator that takes you from the waterfront up to the deck of the walkway, which is about a mile and a quarter long. So that's a wonderful thing to do in all seasons of the year. A lot of people like to come see the fall foliage, but I like the springtime when all the trees are in bloom. So that's one of our highlight areas of things that we have to do in Dutchess. Like I said, 90 minutes from New York, it's an easy, fun trip. Why, and that's 90 minutes on the train, right? Yes, yes, or even if you drive, you know, because you have the Taconic State Parkway, you have some other ways to get up there. So, you know, depending on where you're at, Poughkeepsie is the center of our county on the eastern shore of the Hudson, but Beacon is a great place that a lot of people have heard of the buzz about. Um, they kind of call it Brooklyn North. We call it our own special art, cultural, history, place for people to come visit. The renaissance that has happened in Beacon is tremendous. Lots of hiking, hike Mount Beacon. Many people have heard of Breakneck Ridge. Those are some of the highlights in Beacon that you can do. Wow. Now, have you taken this trip, the train, or driven from New York City to Dutchess? Can you tell us about, you know, is it like a lot of trees or is, you know, because I like traveling, taking trains, and I like looking out the window and, you know, what is the, that uh, trip like? Well, that's what I'm doing today. I'm going home on Metro North, but I have done the trip with Amtrak also, and it's a beautiful ride along the Hudson River. So you have those gorgeous views of the river and the mountains. You have a great view of West Point as you're coming north. You see Bannerman's Castle in the middle of the Hudson River as you're approaching Beacon, and that's a really special tree. It's really interesting and different. It's relaxing. It's just an easy way to travel here to Dutchess. Awesome. I think we got to take that trip, Brian. It's a, it's a great trip. We also offer in the fall, we do farm fresh tours in partnership with Metro North. So people can board the train in Grand Central. They come up, we meet them with a shuttle bus, and depending on the weekend, we take them to different itineraries around Dutchess County. So we visit places like Sprout Creek Farm, like Millbrook Vineyards and Winery, like Taconic Distillery and Dutchess Spirits and Madava Farms, where they have one of the largest maple syrup manufacturing facilities in the United United States and it's all organic they do wonderful tours and tastings they have a cafe and a shop and they do special barbecues or breakfast you know we call it the sugar chateau it's not your grandfather's sugar shack there oh my god you had me at maple syrup Absolutely. give us more details on that 
Well, one of the special syrups that they have is called a bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. So what they do with it is they take the bourbon barrels that were used and they're, they're empty, there's no alcohol in them anymore, but they put the syrup in it and the flavor gets infused into that maple syrup. So it's great, you don't necessarily think about syrup in that way, most people think of breakfast, but definitely use it for mixed drinks, use it for barbecue sauces, rubs. Um, I do something with bacon, a thick cut bacon and you glaze it with the bourbon maple is amazing. So it's a lot of great, interesting, creative ways you can use their product. And a lot of chefs are using that here in the city and abroad. Oh my God, so we can only get it there at... No, you can get it there. You can, it's great to go visit because then you see where it's made and you, you understand and appreciate more. But you can also order it online from their website. You can get it at Costco. You can get it at, I think it's Whole Foods or Trader Joe's One, maybe not both. But it's, it's around and it's easily accessible on their website list where you can purchase it. Oh my God, that's definitely one of the reasons why I would want to go. Tell us about duchesstourism.com. Duchesstourism.com is a tremendous website and resource. So not only do we have all the listings for all the things there are to see and do, over 400 listings of things to see and do in Dutchess County, but we have great videos, we have great suggested itineraries, one, three, and five day getaways. So if you, let's say you just have a one day, you have a weekend, what can I do? I like farm to table. Here's a list of things that you can do. We have great top 10 lists, um, great spotlights that highlight the events. Our event calendar last year had over 7,000 events listed on it. So there's always something happening in Duchess. Wow, that's awesome. So you make it sound so exciting. Now I want to go. It is exciting. You should definitely come. We would love to have you visit and everyone else. Now lastly, I want to ask you, you know about I Love New York, of Absolutely. course. What is your I Love New York? My I Love New York is spending time with my family, exploring all the wonderful things there are to see and do. So for us, places like the National Park Service, the Vanderbilt Mansion, um, FDR Home and Library, Eleanor Roosevelt's Home, are special places for us. But so are the farms and the food, Sprout Creek Farm, the Culinary Institute of America. The, we, you know, we love to eat our way through Dutchess County. And then also the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome in Northern Dutchess County, where they have World War I era and barnstorming airplanes fly. You can see them in museums a lot of places. There's not many places you can see them fly and that's one of our distinctly Duchess things that we have here and one of the reasons I love New York. Wow awesome thank you so much any last words to get people to come out to please come visit us we would love to have you call our office anytime email us we're happy to help you plan your getaway to Duchess County. The New York Times Travel Expo brings us to the Catskills let's check in with Ray welcome to Manhattan. Thank you. How is the expo going for you? Uh, it's been really busy. These last couple days have been just terrific here, making some new friends for the Catskill Mountains. Now what's so great is Ray is from New York, but we're in New York. Why would you need to promote New York? Because we've got booths here from India, <laughs> we've got booths here from, from, from Mexico. What's the point of promoting two New Yorkers? Well, unfortunately, New York State's a great secret to a lot of New Yorkers. So you think that they don't know? Well, I think there's a lot to New York State. and. We all kind of, you know, have a small view sometimes. There's a lot above the Bronx. <laughs> and, and a lot of folks don't realize how much there is in, the, in New York State, including the Catskill Mountains. Now, what comprises the Catskill Mountains? Because we've got a few different mountains that make up this conglomeration, or it goes into a few different counties. Can you well, we have give a us a clear? Uh, the Catskills, at least as far as New York State tourism is, is concerned, the Catskills are made up of four counties. Okay. Delaware County to the west, Green County to the north, Ulster County, including then some of the Hudson Valley, and Sullivan County to, to the southern part of the Catskills. And can now we talk about how easy it is for folks who live in Manhattan that maybe don't have a car or only have a bicycle to get to the Catskills? That's a bit of a challenge. Well, you got Metro North and you can catch a bus. There's, there well, are options. You can do buses. You can do buses. And certainly um, exploring the Catskills by, with public transportation, including a bus, is a bit of a challenge. Okay. Um, but getting into the Catskills through, through trailways, through short line, um, and then exploring from there, or once you get to the Catskills, even renting a car or something like that, 
Um, certainly, traveling by car into the Catskills is a whole lot easier than, than relying on some other means. But you mentioned trailway, so Port Authority would be a bus oh, option? Yeah. Okay. Port Authority would be a, it was, it's an excellent one for both short line and Adirondack trailways. There you are, folks, without a car. Now let's talk about the great things there are to do in the Catskills. Sure. Um, can you give me your favorite for each of the four seasons? Oh my gosh! Because <laughs> all we, we all we see is snow behind us, and I don't want to give the illusion that well, it's a winter-only community. Well, no, absolutely not. Winter is a big part of what happens in the Catskill Mountains. Uh, it's not the only part, though. Uh, you know, there's things to do year-round in the Catskills. During this time of year, while there isn't any snow outside here, we have snow on the ground, and our ski centers are certainly producing snow. So trail system, the trails are, are beautiful right now, great bases, not real crowded. Um, Wyndham, Hunter, Bel Air Mountain, Platakill, one of our, one of our family owned ski centers, terrific places. And I've been to Hunter twice. I'm gonna to toss in a high recommendation for Hunter. Great experience. Good. Thank good. you my brother Tom who brought me there, by the way. Thank you, Tom. That's great <laughs> to hear. That's great to hear. Summertime in the Catskills, Gosh, you know, canoeing, kayaking, the reservoirs. Now remember, the Catskills is where the water supply for New York City comes from. And by the way, we have good drinking water for a major city. If you look over and you see the Hudson, you, have you think, the best yeah, drinking yeah, we've water. got it, and it's thanks to the Catskills. And, and thanks to the Catskills, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it's these pine trees that actually are filtering the water that makes it so good. So thank you also to the pine trees. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, those reserv many of those reservoirs are open for recreational use, nice. for kayaking, for canoeing, certainly for fishing, world-class fishing in the Catskill Mountains, hiking. Um, biking, uh, trail systems, you name it, it's there. Uh, history and culture, arts and culture, great, um, great galleries, great events, festivals. Um, so the, the city folk and the mountain folk would enjoy uh, a weekend everything. in the Catskills? Absolutely. One thing that's kind of emerging more in the Catskills is that whole food scene. Um, where people can come to the Catskills, learn where their food comes from. Oh, good. Get good. to meet the producers. Get to meet the cows that are producing the milk and the cheese. Are they free range? The cows? Yes, of yes. Of course. Nice. That's the nicest when you get to see them roaming free. Well, where else are they going to be? I've you seen know, them in cages. The in Pennsylvania, our neighbors, I've seen caged cows. Well, then you need to come to the Catskills <laughs> because they're going to be out. You're going to see when we're talking about pasture-raised pasture raised beef and also the milk that comes from them. You know, if there's one thing that we do really well in the Catskills is we grow great grass. And because of that, we produce great cheese, great milk great cheeses, great dairy products. Ray, where's the best place for us to go who want to visit the Catskills for more information? Uh, visit thecatskills.com. That's okay. our regional website. That's a terrific place to get started, get introduced to the Catskills a little bit, and then from there, you can go out and explore to the four different counties in the Catskill region. Now we all know the slogan, I love New York. Ray, what's your I love New York? Tell me something you love about the great state of New York. The Catskills. There you go. What a silly question. <laughs> I thought it was an easy question, a fun question. <laughs> Till next time from the New York Times Travel Expo. And we're back at the New York Times Travel Expo. We're here at the Central New York booth. Tell us about Central New York. Sure, thank you for coming to talk to us. Uh, Central New York is an easy getaway from uh, Manhattan, the New York City area. Uh, four and a half hours by car or by train up to Utica, New York, or even closer. Uh, you could get to the Cobblesco area and uh, Cooperstown in about three hours. And there's everything for history travelers, for those that are interested in agriculture and agritourism and farm tours, or the craft beverage movement is huge in our area and has been a, a long time part of our heritage. Uh, Central New York at one time in the 1800s was the hop growing destination of the world, really of the, in, of the, of the country, excuse me, and uh, provided all the hops for the U.S. and, and brewing. And that, there's a resurgence of that and we've seen huge growth in craft beverage, including uh, beer, wine, spirits, and hard cider. 
We do have a campaign to promote that called BrewCentralNY.com and it has a trip planner on it so you can certainly find out some of the unique things like FX Matt Brewery which is one of the oldest breweries in the nation and brews the Saranac brand of beers. It was the first to sell a beer after the end of Prohibition so that's kind of cool. They have a great factory tour. Brewery Omegang is in Cooperstown and of course Cooperstown is the home of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. So a wonderf wonderful summertime event to uh, you know, come up and see either the induction of the baseball players or just visit the village, quaint village uh, on the lake, beautiful. Uh, um, great for outdoor adventure seekers as well. We have a lot of hiking and cycling. The Erie Canal Way Trail runs through our region, so you could certainly cycle that. Um, cave exploration, Howe's Cavern is located in our region as well, so great cave exploration there. Um, but wonderful quintessential towns uh, to really get to know more of upstate New York. Wonderful, thank you. What are the, the main towns then, the cities? Mm -hmm. Which ones uh, are they? Um, most recognizable would probably be Cooperstown, Binghamton, Utica, uh, Casanova. You know, we are known for our colleges in the area. Um, the area sees um, well over uh, about 40,000 students come in every year uh, and beyond. And uh, But there's a lot more to see and do, especially for those families that have a child in college. There's a lot to see and do. We've talked to people this weekend about that. They'll say, my son or daughter is in college in upstate. What can I come and do on a long weekend? And so, you know, they can certainly go to visitcentralnewyork.com mm -hmm. for more information on things to do. Wonderful. Is there any special foods that we might, you know, that you would recommend tasting there? Uh, absolutely. There's a complete festival in, in Binghamton around speedies. What's a speedy? Speedy. Yeah. Well, that's actually skewered meat, uh, most likely chicken, and it's done with a, a, a sauce that was uniquely created. So there is a festival in August called uh, the Speedy Fest, and there's a balloon festival along with that that happens every year. Um, and then in the Utica area, we are quite known for um, some unique dishes, chicken riggies, which is uh, a rigatoni dish with chicken. It can be served mild or hot. Um, also, uh, tomato pie and uh, tomato pie. Tomato pie. It's not is that your traditional sweet pie. Or? Well, it, it's it's kind of like a room temperature pizza. It's served okay. at room temperature, a thick crust with a little bit of a sweeter tomato sauce. Mm. So very. I like the sound yeah. of that. It's delicious. Oh yeah, God. absolutely. Wow. Half moon cookies as well, mm. uh, and Utica greens. Uh, and that's an escar it's a hot sautéed escarole dish. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are some of the unique uh, culinary items that you wow, could put that, on your list. That uh, tomato pie definitely caught my attention. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so we're in New York, the I Love New York slogan. What is your I Love New York? What is my of? What I, uh, your I Love New York about, moment. Yeah, a Just moment. you personally. Yeah, about Central New York? No, about New York. Just New York. Oh. Or it could be Central, too. Well, you know, it's just that um, it's so, it's location, location, location. Same with, you know, the real estate industry. We are so uniquely positioned um, in the country. Uh, New York State, upstate, uh, has just such wonderful geography, and we really do have everything. Um, you know, right now, the state's campaign is, it's all here, it's only here. It's absolutely the truth. And just for us to be able to talk to people that live uh, here in the city and educate them on what's in their own backyard, which is a beautiful backyard, for them to come and visit. It, it really is. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Wow. Thank you so much. Goodbye from the central New York, right? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I went to... Greetings from the New York Times Travel Expo. Let's check in with Michelle, who's involved with the capital of New York. Let's check in. How are you, Michelle? We're fine, and we've had a great weekend. Now, we are in Manhattan, but it's not the center of New York. Break it down, how the capital is not Manhattan. No, the capital of New York State is the capital of the capital of the world, and that's Albany. We've been the capital since 1789. So we've got lots of practice. Now, a lot of people, though, will come to New York. They'll get the I Love New York slogan, but they miss visiting the capital. Right. 
I didn't. I'll tell you what I saw and I really liked it. Let's check in first. What are the, some of the things that you recommend to people when they're visiting New York? Well, of course, the Capitol building itself, which has undergone a wonderful renovation and really makes it shine. The New York State Museum, it's everybody's museum. It's the people of New York that make up the, the New York State Museum. The oldest museum in the country, the Albany Institute of History and Art. Now, one of the things that I truly love, and I am going again this year, is the Albany Tulip Festival. Can you tell me anything else to encourage everyone, I mean everyone, to attend the Albany Tulip Festival? It will be in its 69th year, this in 2017. Uh, in Washington Park, there are over a quarter of a million tulip bulbs that are planted in the fall, so they're already sleeping for winter. Uh, and we will celebrate throughout the city on Mother's Day weekend. Now here's one that everyone's gonna love the answer to. How much does it cost to enter Washington Park for the Tulip Festival, for the free concerts, for the second stage you with free concerts? Way. No, I didn't hear the answer yet. <laughs> Free, love nothing. It, love it. <laughs> now here's a little New York for you. Uh, New York used to be called New Amsterdam, and Amsterdam sends us these tulips. Or how are we acquiring from the Kingdom of the Netherlands all of these tulips every year? Well, as I said, it's 69 years old, and it started when, during, uh, right after World War II, when we sent Albany sent home goods and supplies to Nijmegen, and Nijmegen sent us tulips. Oh, I love it! I love it. And there's, oh, I'm only going to go one more question about this one. Have you seen the Dutch traditional scrubbing of the street? Of and tell people why they shouldn't miss it. And we're no longer New Amsterdam, but we've got a lot of great traditions that happen in Albany. Can you give us a little bit about that? Well, we were founded by the Dutch in 1609, yeah. and one of the traditions, the Dutch housewife would always go out and scrub her porch or scrub her stoop and so now we recreate that with State Street Hill which is a downward slope so it flows really nicely. Now I said I wasn't going to ask any more questions but I will give you a fact New York has our very own tulip and it's in the color of orange and scarlet but that's not the only thing happening in Albany. You can you tell us about some of the other events? I know uh, Washington Park has the Pride event in June. That's what right. else happens in the beautiful uh, upstate region? Well, since we're talking about the entire region, we're also representing Fulton County with 44 lakes, capital, I mean the Saratoga uh, area with its thoroughbred racing every summer. Uh, so certainly we're on the Hudson and we say we're where the Hudson and the Mohawk meet. So we're great river cities and cultural and agricultural areas. Now how easy is it to get to Albany from Manhattan, from Queens, from Brooklyn, from the Bronx? How accessible is the capital region? Two hours and 20 minutes on Amtrak, and you end up right in the middle of uh, the, the, the action in downtown Albany. And I've shopped around and found a round trip bus ticket for same day That's under right. $20, US dollars, under $20. And they leave from the train station as well. Now we all know the slogan, I love New York. Can you tell us your I love New York? Our I love New York. No, your, your, not the commission, not the bureau, not the board, your New Yorker from your heart. What do you love in this beautiful state of New York? I love the fact that we can be in cities in, and in 10 minutes be in wonderful nature as well. Yeah. And we can find it in our region. Till next time from the New York Times Travel Expo. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Wow, the New York Times Travel Show. Samara, what did you think? Oh, it was fabulous. My first time and I really enjoyed it. I'm just ready to travel. I want to go to London, Spain, Italy, Germany. The New York Times Travel Show. We brought you the best of I Love New York. So many people think when you come to New York, you've seen it all when you've seen 42nd Street and the Empire State Building. But did you learn a lot about upstate? Absolutely. Central New York, a lot of the food and just traveling, taking the train out out of New York City. It's going to be exciting. And you may not know this. New York City is not the capital. It is... Albany. Albany. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot to do there. And there's so much to see at the New York Times Travel Show. We encourage you to come and see for yourself. Till next time, from Ryan. And Samara.